Hi guys. Welcome to new miraculous ladybug story name is Internet Love. Please subscribe my channel and like story video and watch video till to end if you want to enjoy. Let's start. A heart full of love and interest, a heart that is willing to give up everything, a heart of trust and love. Will she find what she want through internet? It all started with one girl, a girl who was finding friends through internet, Marinette. Marinette is a college student. From China, she moved through LA to study alone. She was a lazy and an addicted on phone yet smart. She was pretty, nice, and a helpful girl, a very good example for the children's, but everything will change through the internet. Luca, Luca, was a collage student too. He was living at the L.A. with his parents, but not at the same town as Marinette do. He found Marinette at the internet that turned into a friendship, as they talk at each other every day A feelings between them starts to grow. A love for Marinette. Adrian A. Gresty moved from London through L.A., he was a nice and funny guy who was new at the internet, was also finding friends. But one day he met Marinette. Marinette and Adrian became soon a best friends, comforting, telling secrets, and many more. Marinette felt the same feeling like Luca has, but not for him, but for Adrian. But how about Luca? Will he confess? What will going to happen between Marinette and him? Will a love between Adrian and Marinette grow? Will he feel the same way for Marinette or will Marinette feel the same way for Luca? Who would she pick? Luca, who arrived first and has a feeling for her or Adrian, the boy that he love. Another tiring day at school has passed again. It was around 6 p.m. and Marinette was balancing at the sidewalk. You can hear a choo-choo of the train that is passing by. A minutes ago Marinette finally arrived at her apartment and went straight at her room. It was neat and clean, but you can't imagine how dirty it is onto her room. Marinette entered her small room. It was dark inside. There's a small window at the side of her bed that is open to the night and gives sunlight at the morning. Beside it was a small table that has her alarm clock and books on it. She placed her bag onto the table and laid on her bed. Mari, ugh. What a tiring day. Sigh. Marinette closed her eyes as she was about to sleep even though she's not changing her uniform yet. Suddenly her phone notification ping that made her awake. Mari, ugh. Someone texted me. She was about to grab her bag to pick her phone, but then she stopped. Mari, amen, I'm so tired. Why do I have to get those? No. I have to get those. Ah, what for? I'm exhausted. They can wait for my replies, right? But what if it's urgent? What if it's mom? Or dad? Ugh. Fine. She grabbed her bag and picked her phone onto it. She then placed her bag back onto the table. She opened her phone and Alia, her friend's name, appeared onto the screen. Marinette. Oh, it's just Alia. Marinette swipe up the screen and open Alia's message. Alia, hey girl, whatcha doin? Marinette tiredly type for a reply. Mari, nothing. I'm actually was about to sleep. Alia, again? How about let's bond? Mari, what do you mean? Alia, I mean, your life cycle, let's change it. Mari, my, life cycle? Alia, yes the. Wake school sleep eat. Mari, hey. I'm not like that. Alia, oh I forgot to put the phone onto it and yes you are. Sometimes I'm wondering on how are you getting good grades in your situation? 
Mari, ugh. Fine, fine let's just hang out. Alia, yay. See you at the park. Marinette reacted hard onto Alia's message, she turned off her phone and rested her hands. Mari, ugh. Groans, just why do I have to go? It's cozy in here. Ugh. Fine. Marinette stood up, but suddenly laid again. Mari, ugh. It's so cozy in here. I haven't even take my rest yet. Marinette headed on her closet and changed her uniform into a formal blue dress that suits her hair. She went outside her room and were on her pink flat shoes, picked her shoulder bag and went outside her apartment. Marinette sighed as she breathed the air. Mari, oh shoot, I forget my phone. She sprinted back to her room and found her phone onto her bed, she grabbed it and headed outside. Mari, phone, wallet, wait, why do I have to check my back if this is the only thing I brought? Meh. Marinette continued walking onto the bus stop. She sat onto the bench while waiting for the bus. She picked her phone again to see another message from Alia. Alia, where are you? Marinette replied. Mari, at the bus stop. She took a photo of the highway then sent it on to Alia. She closed her phone again and placed onto her bag, at that very moment a bus came, she immediately stood up and went onto the bus. She sat besides the window. Everyone was looking at her as if she's a model, but Marinette ignored them all, after a minute the bus stopped. Marinette came down the bus stop, in front of it was the park, she walked towards the park. As she wandered around her phone notify. It was Alia. Alia, you're here now? Mari, I can't find you. Alia, haha, I literally can see you right now. Mari, what? Where? Alia, girl, I'm literally at your back, dash underscore dash. Marinette shocked her head then turned around, it was Alia, who was standing right behind her. Alia, wow girl, you're that blind. Mari, I'm not. I'm just, dash. Alia, just? You're just busy scrolling onto your phone. Mari, no. I'm just. Looking for you onto. The map nervously laugh. Alia, wow, you literally can see me onto the Google map, huh? Alia said as she rolled her eyes with her arms crossed. Mari, sorry okay? Where are we going? Alia, nice, topic changer. It's a surprise. Mari, surprise? Alia, yeah. Since you're addicted onto Pinterest. I'll brought you to somewhere aesthetic. Mari, what? Really? Where? Alia, chill, chill, I'm going to take you there right now. A minute later. Mari, really? At a cafe? Alia, why? Isn't this fantastic? Mari, I thought you said aesthetic. Alia, right. Like this place. The cafe was very crowded and noisy because of the people slurping their teas or coffee, chatting with each other, and many more. Mari, you know I'd dash. A young girl was looking at her. It was about six to seven years old, Marinette waved and smiled at her, then turned to Alia. Mari, whispered you know I hate crowded place. Alia, and that's the problem. Marinette there's nothing wrong about blending in with other peoples and making friends with others not scrolling on Facebook like what you are doing now. Mari, haha, look at this meme, isn't it funny? She said as she show Alia the meme on her phone. 
Alia with a serious face grabbed it. Mari, hey that's my phone. Alia, we're here to hang out not to show each other's meme. Mari, B but I need to take a picture of our food. Alia, for what? For your Insta story? To be continued. I hope you have enjoyed it story video. Please subscribe channel and like story video. I will upload next part soon.